I'm the Gaming Lemon, and I'm back at you again with a brand new Call of Duty video. Just kidding, guys. It's Spoonful for you, back at you again with a brand new Call of Duty video today. Um, Call of Duty is not looking too high, I have to say. I mean, look at all these camos. Look at this. I really miss when Call of Duty was a simple time. When it was just fun. Pure fun. And it didn't have to do with all these micro DLCs. Like the corner master here. Shut up. Call of Duty guys is not in a good state today. Um, because of the supply drops. Because of the future setting. Because of, you know, the specialists. And the micro DLCs. And all of this crap. And just, it's not a good game. It's not very fun. Infinite Warfare is probably one of my least favorite Call of Duties. I've barely played it. You know, at first I kind of liked it. But, you know, now it's a big sack of crap. Um, so today I'm going to play some Breakout while I'm going to talk about the state of Call of Duty. Now, hopefully, COD 2017 will take Call of Duty back to, two, uh, you know, World War II or the 2000s, the early 2000s. That'd be really, really fun. Um, and if they, there's no way they're taking it back to the future. And if they do, then it's gonna be boots on the ground. However, I will still not like it because I don't want a futuristic setting. I want a, you know, a fun World War II setting, something like that. That's really what I'm looking for today. I'm not looking for anything futuristic at the moment. Maybe in a couple years, it would be fun if it could go back to the future, but not now. I just don't want that now. So let's talk about the supply drops, ladies and gentlemen. The supply drops are never going away. They will be here probably forever in Call of Duty. Because, you know, they make Activision a lot of money, guys. A lot of money. And, you know, if Activision makes a lot of money, then they're sold, you know. They don't really care if the community gets mad about the supply drops. So the, basically, the supply drops are staying. So that's, that's that. Um, the future setting. The future setting needs to go. This is one of the worst Call of Duties I've played in my life. The graphics are really dull, and, you know, there's just nothing good in it. It's just, you know, I don't know. I just don't enjoy this game. Um, I think I liked Black Ops 3 a lot better than this, even though I hated Black Ops 3 as well. Um, this game was, Black Ops 3 was at least decent. This game, the only good thing about this game is the, the, the zombies mode. That's all I play it for is the zombies mode. And the zombies mode is not that bad in this game. Throw a grenade! Ah, shoit. Anyways, guys. Uh, you know. I haven't really played Infinite War for that much. And we're gonna talk about, you know. What's gonna make Call of Duty. A better game. First, uh, first off. I'm getting tired of these micro DLCs. We don't need so many micro DLCs. Uh, because the guns in the supply drops overpower uh, the, the people that don't have the supply drops. So that's why the supply drops are awful, just like my uh, uh, skills in this game. They're pretty awful as well. So they need a better supply drop system. Um, and like I said a million times, the futuristic setting has to go. It's really dull now. It's dull as dishwater. Um, they've done all they can in the future right now, and there's nothing more they can do. They need to go back to the past, or Call of Duty is dead. Call of Duty is dead right now. There's, I don't know if there's ever going to be a return. I'm horrible. I really am. But, you know, I don't think there's ever going to be a return of Call of Duty unless they go back to the past, like World War II. That's really what I want them to do. Because World at War, believe it or not, was one of my absolute favorite Call of Duties. It was just really, really awesome. And I enjoy the heck out of it, you know? Um, Black Ops as well. I enjoy the heck out of Black Ops and Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 3 was okay. Um, not my favorite, but, you know, it, it's alright. It did its job. And, you know, it doesn't really bother me anymore. So, yeah, COD 2017. I have high hopes for it. I'm pretty excited for it. Sledgehammer Games... They made a really fun game, Advanced Warfare. I know not, not a lot of people like Advanced Warfare, but to be honest, I enjoyed that game. I was going through a lot of uh, problems during that year, and I wanted a fun, unique, new experience because Call of Duty Ghosts was so bad. I just wanted a fun game, and Advanced Warfare was actually unique and different. Um, to be honest, I'm not a... I'm not... 
I don't really mind the, you know, the boost jumping and stuff if they actually make a good game. Oh, shoot. But, uh, actually, guys, to be honest, the next Call of Duty, if it has boost jumping, then I'm not probably going to buy it. Because, uh, I just want, I just want them to change it up a bit. If the game, however, gets good reviews, and, uh, you know, the storyline is good, then I might get it. I don't really mind the boost jumping, uh, if the game actually is a good game. And yes, guys, I've been playing Call of Duty since 2008. I'm a huge Call of Duty player. Uh, I'm more of a Zombies player. However, I do, I do jump on multiplayer from time to time, like I am right now. Um... So, yeah, look at this. Look at the specialist ability I get. The specialist abilities... Oh, wow. The specialist abilities in this game are trash. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, Black Ops 3 had better abilities. However, I still hated the abilities. Because, you know, it's, that's not Call of Duty, man. That's not what Call of Duty is. Um, so, what I want in COD 2017... Um, a, a past weapons. I really want... You know, how awesome would that be to use the Thompson in next gen? That would be freaking amazing, guys. I mean, that would be... I would be sold if that happened! Oh, shoot. Um, like the MP40. That would be so amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And I would I would play it non-stop. This game, however, just... There's no... Wow. There's nothing fun to it, you know? You get over... You get overpowered all the time by these... These little kids who buy all the micro-DLCs. It's really pathetic. Look at this. Look at this trash. Look at it. Oh, got him. Okay, guys, I got him really so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video um you know i just wanted to talk about the state call of duty is in if they don't improve then call of duty is basically never going to recover from the death because they are dead right now not near dead they're not close to being dead they are dead there there's no return if they don't follow these you know these rules that i was talking about in this video whoa guys how did he shoot me like what Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, man, I really hate, I really hate Modern Infinity Ward. Modern Warfare 3 all the way to, you know, Infinite Warfare. They've, make, they've been making some pretty bad games. Modern Warfare 3 was okay. Ghosts was trash. And Infinite Warfare is trash as well. Like, look at this. Okay, good. Um, so can this game recover? Infinite Warfare is dead. The only thing that's going to make it good has to be the Zombies mode. Uh, the rest of it, uh, campaign was really fun, but you can't play campaign a million times. It, well, you can, but it's not going to save the game. Multiplayer is complete awful trash. There's no return for the multiplayer, unfortunately, and that's like what holds Call of Duty together, is the multiplayer. But that's dead. Uh, zombies is the only thing that I still play the game for. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you want some, if you want to ask me some questions about Call of Duty. Uh, if you want to play me on the PlayStation 4, then you can. I'll give you my um, my username on uh, the comment section if you ask me a question or something. If you want me to play with you, then I will be glad to play with you one day. If you give me your username down in the comment section, guys. Wow. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Oh, and look, that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen, looks very, very shy and lonely. Let's go ahead and click it and share them up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Subscribe. And uh, goodbye. Shoot.